Well guys, uh, just thought I'd show you a little bit of the madness. Uh, my bench usually doesn't get this insane, but I've just kind of been scrambling here. Sort of uh, juggling between being a house husband and father of two and trying to get this darn thing done. So came up with a system for mounting any radiator to the back of any case and uh, I think it's kind of a pretty nifty idea. It follows the same technical idea as my water board that uses the tubes and the all-thread rods to compress it and this is very very strong. This isn't some wiggly you know all the wiggly radiator. As you can see the whole case is tied to the radiator you know and and it's so simple I just love it got four tubes got four little pieces of tube in between each fan right now I've just got thumb screws on there uh, when it's time to hook the deal up I made a straight shot right to the pump I made a special bracket for the pump so that it'd be elevated above the power supply and aimed right at the radiator then the fluid will run right up to this heat killer water block here and there's another port there on the bottom and that's going to drop right down to the video card and then that'll return to the reservoir and then the reservoir will have another line that comes down feeds the pump talk about sweet this is going to be such a sweet looking liquid cooling system. There's not a bunch of loopity doopity, you know, not a bunch of angle fittings and 10 million anything. Just nice little bits of power compression, 7 16 tubing. I had to do some modifications to this fan. Uh, I had to desolder and resolder one of the leads, little speed control leads from uh, the stock fans onto it, but other than that, that was no big deal. Here's the 1000 watt Corsair power supply we're going to be putting in the unit. And uh, that's about it for right now, but I feel like I've, uh, I've got a few of the technical issues solved. You know, getting the pump right where I want it, getting the radiator simply and conveniently mounted. Uh, you could put fans in between here, but it would make it really, really tight. I'm going to show you with a, you know, imagine that this is a DVI plug that's going to plug in and has its cable coming out of it. Well, if you were running dual monitors, which this client is, you can see there's not a heck of a lot of clearance there. You're going to want to be able to pull it out and put it in. So if you had a fan there, now you could probably put a fan there if you used a right angle DVI connector. And you could probably, you know, that's why I could do the same, same thing with these little sections of tube. And I could put a fan, one of these Scythe S-Flex. I could put that right there with little chunks of tubing in between it. And you could put your fans all on the inside if you wanted to now. That would be a little neater looking. But I really don't see the problem with just running them off the back, to be honest with you. So I'm going to leave it the way it is for now, unless I get directed otherwise. That's how it's going to end up. And uh, I'm also excited to say that Lamptron is uh, going to start sponsoring CyberDruid PC and Waterputer. And uh, you'll start seeing some Lamptron parts in my uh, mods and builds. I've used them anyway, but now I'm uh, getting sponsored, so it just makes it that much sweeter. And I hope you enjoyed this vid. Uh, stay tuned. There's going to be a lot more happening to this Antec 1200.